time of year. Christmas is about five weeks away. And so I am starting all of my handmade ornaments. And I know I've said in previous videos, um, for Christmas um, every year, whenever I give my family um, a Christmas present, I always attach a new handmade ornament, Christmas tree ornament from me onto their gift with their gift tag. And um, I think everybody now has kind of come to expect one on their Christmas gift. And so um, these are ones that I am going to make this year. They are the pine cone tree ornaments and they are super cute. Uh, they take a little bit of time to do, but they're really easy. It's just, you know, sit down in front of the TV and make one of these. Put everything you need to make these in your lap and sit down, watch your favorite movie and craft away making your ornaments. These are super cute and let me show you what all you need for them. Foam, either egg or pine cone shape, whatever you wanna call them. A four pack at Walmart for $1.98. So you're gonna need approximately 32 two and a half inch by two and a half inch pieces of fabric. You're gonna need some straight pins and I just get the regular metal straight pins here. And um, I also use a thimble because um, pushing the straight pins in starts to hurt my fingers after a while. So um, that might come in handy for you. You're gonna need some ribbon of your choice that coordinates with your fabric and get your hot glue gun plugged in and some scissors and you, you should be ready to with go. the smaller end. You've got the pointier at the bottom and the more rounded at the top. You're gonna start off where it's smaller on the smaller end. And um, I'm going to take a piece of fabric, one of my fabric squares, and I am going to cut this first piece down a bit because I don't want it all wrinkled. So I'm gonna cut about a quarter inch off each side for just this one piece. And you're gonna take it and just put it over the top of that egg and cover the tip of the egg. And go ahead and pin it down nice and tight. And I do, um, on, on this project, I won't use the hot glue gun as much, but in other no-sew ornament videos, I do use my hot glue gun versus the straight pins because you will find if you are making these handmade ornaments that are no-sew with the straight pins, you will go through straight pins like there is no tomorrow. And these straight pins are not super cheap. This is 750 count, and this makes only three and a half ornaments if you do it all with straight pins. And for this container, I think it was about five bucks. And as, although that isn't super expensive, when you are making a ton of ornaments, it does get a little bit pricey. And I found a way just to use the glue gun um, on a lot of the parts instead of using the straight pins. And it worked just as good and it even came out a bit nicer, I thought. So, you know, if you wanna use all straight pins, go for it. Okay, so we've covered up the smaller end of our pine cone. So now we're gonna take our fabric and we are going to fold it from point to point, like so, and then we're gonna fold it again, point to point. So you now have a triangle. And you're going to take your pine cone to the end that you just covered, and you're going to place this triangle and the point, and you are going to try and find the middle of your pine cone egg. So when you put it down, the point is pretty much in the middle. And you are going to take your straight pins and pin down that, that edge and pin down that edge. And so that is what you are left with is that. And we are going to do the same thing again, folding our triangle, folding it again, and go to the opposite side of what you've just done 
and place your point so the points both touch. And once you've done that, go ahead and pin down your two sides. So this is what we're left with. And so you can see how it's shaping up. You know, this is the beginning parts of what we're doing here. So now we're going to do the two other sides. with our triangle. I apologize for any of the back noise you guys hear. I don't have a craft room and my craft area is right smack in the middle of the house of the living area. So you hear doors opening and closing and TVs turning on. So I'm doorbells ringing. So I'm sorry. Okay, so now we've got our third done there and we're just gonna pin those down. The two sides down. So now we're going to do this last side. And I've got other no sew ornaments that I'm making a video on that I think are such awesome gifts to give to grandparents or your parents that you are going to love. So stay tuned for watching those because I can promise you they are more different than anything you've seen on YouTube and nobody has done these yet. And so, um, yeah, I'm pretty proud of them because I came up with them on my own. It, yeah, it came from the no sew quilting idea, but I wanted to personalize them and I can't wait to bring you this video in the next day or two. Okay, so we have done all four sides and looking down on it, you can see it starting to shape. So now what we're gonna do is, we're, all the folds are always the same with this. You know, we're always doing the triangle fold and this is probably the part that takes the longest is this. That's why I say just sit down in front of the TV and pin away. Okay, so now what you're gonna do is you know you've got your two that go this way you've got your two that go this way so now we're going to go off to the side here and go a bit lower and pin it there and then you're going to do the opposite side what i don't like to do is i don't go this one this one this one you know clockwise or counterclockwise i always go the opposite of what i just did and um, that seems to have a better outcome with the pattern than doing them right next to each other. I don't know why, it just does. And so since I just did this one over here, I'm gonna go to the opposite side over here and pin this one. And it's starting to get hard, so I am going to use my thimble to push them in because my finger is I've done so many of these in the last few days that yeah my index finger is killing me. We've done one, two, three, so now we're going down to the bottom. Here. Alrighty, so you can see how it's forming up. And so all you are going to do from here on out is now we're going to put ones right here. You know, so you're not gonna go right below the ones you just did. You're gonna go right here, and then you're gonna go right here, and then you're gonna go right there, and then just go from, if you do here, then you wanna come and do the opposite side. And just do that until you get all the way to the top and I will show you when to stop.
Okay, we finished our next row. And now we're going to go right here. but we're not gonna be able to go all the way to the tip of it, the tip top. So I'm gonna put in as many as I can right now. And now I am going to switch from using my straight pins to my glue gun because I don't want my straight pins to show on the top. Now we want to go and cover up the ones that we have here with our last couple so that's where I'm just going to put a dab there. I'm going to put some in there and and just glue those down. And after I fold my triangle, uh, because I am gluing it, I am going to put a bit of glue inside just to keep it closed. And on these last ones, we just, we kind of want them to be as neat as we can get them. Okay, so now with this one, I am going to cut, see how when I put it down, this edge goes up over this one. I don't want this to show this ugly edge on both sides. So these last two, I am going to cut them. And then glue them down. So I just cut the point off right there. And I'm also gonna do that on this side as well. And I am going to 
glue that down. And put a dot of glue in there. And that's what it will look like. And we're going to do that one more time. And that's what you should be left with on top. Is that. And this is what we've got so far. So now we're going to take our fabric. And you can iron increase your fabric if you want. But we are going to... What I do is I take my 2x2 two two piece. I'm going to take my glue gun do a line across the top and then I'm gonna fold it over like so. Then I'm gonna go to the opposite side. Let's get rid of some of these straggling pieces. Then I'm gonna go to the other side, do another strip across the top and Fold it down. Then I'm going to go to this side, do a strip across the top, and I'm going to fold it down. I need a bit more glue right there. There we go. And then go to the last side. A strip of glue and fold it down. So that's what we're left with on the bad side and when you look at the good side it's pretty. And we are going to take that and we are going to hot glue it over the top. So go ahead and put your hot glue all the way around and just and there you have the top. Not too bad, huh? Pretty cute and pretty easy. Now it is time for our ribbon. Take a piece of our ribbon, whatever length you want to be able to hang it on your tree. And we are going to glue those together. Cut off the extra. We are going to take it and put it on the top of our pine cone. Put it right in the middle there of our pine cone. Like so with some hot glue. Or you can use a straight pin if you want. If you really wanted to leave it just like that you could. But that looks unfinished to me. So I am going to do a bow. And there you have it, our no-so country looking quilted pine cone. Isn't that so stinking adorable? Look at how cute that came out. And it took us about, what, 15 minutes I'd say to do one. Isn't that adorable? I love these. I have them on my tree here at home and um, I make a new one every year with uh, whatever neat country quilted fabric that I find. And just so you know, if anybody's interested in this fabric here, this green uh, gingham with the star, real country looking fabric, I did get this fabric at Walmart in their fabric section. And I believe it was $3.47 a yard, which really isn't bad. I didn't mind paying uh, $3.47 for a yard of this. And it does come in red as well because I absolutely love this fabric. 
and I used it for a number of projects this season. But there you have it, everybody. So go and make yourself some homemade, no sew quilted pine cone ornaments for your tree this year and maybe make some and attach them to your gifts if you give uh, people in your neighborhood a gift or just your family, maybe attach a handmade creation of yours to one of your Christmas gifts to somebody. Hope y'all like this video today. Please give me a thumbs up if you did and subscribe to my channel and stay tuned for more holiday Christmas uh, creations from me to come. So until next time, everybody, happy crafting on a budget and bye for now.